Hello and welcome back to the channel. Uh, we'll be continuing with our Fresh Dweller character. Uh, off camera I went ahead and talked to Mort, got his tapes, listened to the three tapes he gives us about camp building. And the next thing to do is follow a quest marker to listen to the Overseer's Log. Here is the Overseer's Camp. Overseer's Log, south of Vault 76. I, I knew this wasn't going to be the Appalachia I remembered, but... Mutated animals? Haywire bots? No people so far. We have to be ready to rebuild in... What I can confirm is... Hostile territory. Fortunately, vault Tech was prepared. You see this? The cooking station? The stash box? The workbenches? All built with the camp. You need a home base out there. The construction and assembly mobile platform is designed to give you one. You just add resources, planning, and a little elbow grease. When you move your camp, everything you've built is stored, ready to be placed back down in the new area. Use this to establish a foothold whenever you're in unfamiliar territory. I've left my camp behind so you can use it. I know I'm breaking my own advice by not taking it with me. But after seeing Appalachia for myself, I need to make sure every resident of 76 has a safe haven they can start from. I'll make do without it. If it's still standing, the town of Flatwoods is further down this road. Find me there. This is the Overseer, signing off. Also wanted to note that all of the plans we got when we exited the vault are here in the notes section under plans. So you have to actually click on and learn the plans that are in there. So don't forget to do that. You can also see that we are currently overweight. So let's go ahead and scrap all of the things that we got. Not just, oh, got another plan there. All of the stuff that we got from the wayward so Let's store all our junk here we go uh, there's also let's see we picked up Some pipe pistols, we can scrap those, hopefully get some mods. And we picked up an extra leather leg. So yes, scrapping uh, weapons and armors give you the chance to learn mods. Now before we run down here to Flatwoods, also wanted to run down here. There's this little outpost where you can usually pick up some goodies. Oh, I came too far to get turned down now. We're building something big here. Don't get left behind. Okay. So we'll take that dirty water. We'll make Atlas stronger than Fort Defiance ever was. I'm going to join up and take on the wasteland. All right, that's all that's here sometimes. I know how to fix. Ah, that, that, that's a skill. Fort Atlas is in good hands. <clears throat> I 
Merchants trained as well. I wanted to cover another quick change that's come about with the Atlantic City update and it's food based. Now one of my favorite foods is corn soup. Matter of fact, I kind of have the triumvirate or holy trinity of corn soup, brain fungus soup. Oh, there's another ear of corn. And here's some glowing fungus. Let's grab that. Oh. Looks like it's been harvested. Let's see if we can get this. There we go. So we can make a couple of those soups. I'm going to grab some dirty water real quick. That's going to give us some rads. So let's view our effects. So right now we're still well rested and vault fed, which means we're fully fed and fully hydrated. And you can see the bonuses you get from that. I'm going to spend a second and do a little bit of cooking. So we can now boil some of the water we collected. food. We can make some carrot soup, some corn soup. Glowing fungus. Stag for some extra carry weight. And some chicken noodle soup. Now the change I wanted to highlight is that previously Things like pre-war food had rads and things that you pre-war being such things like, okay, you're getting almost one rad from canned dog food, but notice the sugar bombs, no rads. But there are now rads associated with the food you actually cook. And these tend to be higher than the pre-war pre so in my previous videos, I really pretty much used pre-war food and stuff like um, Salisbury steak, sugar bombs, canned dog food. I would just use those to sell for caps. But now it's actually worth your while to keep some of these pre-war foods as their rads are substantially lower. Sorry, trying to do a slightly better narration than Mort's tapes. If you've listened to his tapes, you'll know what I mean. Uh, so that's something that has changed. Let's see, his purified water is actually pretty heavy. We can shed some weight by storing that. No, oh, here we actually picked up some more things to scrap. Store all our junk. Let's 
Stim packs can be pretty heavy. We really don't need 32. Probably just need about 10. Oh. So let's store 12 more. There we go. Weapons. I'll sell those. Food and drink. So, where's all that water? Purified water. Let's store... Yeah. There we go. Cut our weight in half. And let's make our way down to Flatwoods. Still got our trusty tin mill. Oh. And let's not forget the ability to milk the Brahmin. There we go. Four Brahmin milk. Uh, as I've said in previous videos, please don't be a greedy bastard and milk all of the Brahmins. The, the Brahmin milk does spoil. But one thing that it does do is removes rads. There we go. Now, you also have the hotel here. There is some items to loot in here. I'll go ahead and skip that. Oh, except for that hot plate. Hot plate's one of my favorites. There's a bed to rest in if you'd need. You can check the other room over here. Another bed. I am going to take that fancy hairbrush because it has silver. I'm going to go ahead and leave that for now. And here we go. Off to... Flatwoods, we see a pretty nice player camp there. Just check the map real quick. That's where we're headed. No, we're not going to do any of those. Sorry, headed in the wrong direction. Need to turn around. Good thing to check the map. Off we go. I am assuming that those of you that are following along with these series have been playing for quite some time. I am going to kind of skip on the lore a bit. If you are a new player, I do encourage you to, you know, stop and talk to these guys. It's another little, what's called a survival camp. You know, I'm going to take this opportunity to tune up. Travel down here. And there 
there's usually a pack of dogs down here by this telephone pole. Yep, there they are. Let's go ahead and see if we can sneak up a little closer. So we got all three of them. That was pretty good. Actually some rad stag meat here. And the hide is important. We will need that leather when we upgrade our armor. Sign welcome to Flatwoods. Um, be a great place to stop and do a quick selfie. Let's see. I'll show you. For my thumbnail, let's see how that turns out. Photo mode. And we've done the thumbs up picture pose in the past. Perhaps we'll use this looking to the future pose. There we go. We'll use that as the pose for the thumbnails here. Let's see, we see. Uh, I'm so sick and tired of those thorn bushes. Talk to these NPCs. Damn, no caps. Looks like there's almost two hundred dollars in here, though. I guess it'll make good kindling. It's stairway. This is mine. I found it first. Fine, fine. going to wait a whole nother hour for that food to reheat. So, we have a little explosive crate here. Nothing else back behind there or here. Although, here's a pump. But it's just going to give you more dirty water and rads. Oh, my. Some good stuff in the mailbox. And up here on the porch. Nothing in the duffel bag. Yeah. We see more of the responder emblems. And then we have the Green Country Lodge. Now, careful, there's... There they are. Usually there are some mole rats. That's why I'm standing on top of this car. And we've leveled up. Can't believe there's just the one mole rat. Well, while we're up here, my next thing is to put a point into... Oh, and here we get our first unopened perk pack. Yes. Yay, we got Concentrated Fire. That's the card I would have picked. And I'm going to put another point into Perception. And for, the, for right now, I'm going to also get the Rifleman perk. Well, or perhaps we'll wait. Let's go ahead and, and rank up Concentrated Fire. And that's really a wasted card. There's almost no point in equipping it. Well, where'd our mole rat go? Here's 
Here's our possum that we can cook up. There's usually some goodies back here behind this counter, like this telephone. That's good scrap. No money in the cash register. Oh, a pencil. I like that. Wood and lead. And it doesn't... Oh, I didn't want the book. It just the pencil. And also back behind here... Quite a few aluminum cans. And some hot dogs. Would not recommend eating them, but there is a new Coca-Cola for us to drink when we want to. Oh, and some Day Tripper. So always make your way around to the back. If we go around to the front of the hotel. Is that a car battery? Yes! We're going to want that for all the lead. For the wood. Oh, a bobby pin. Fantastic. I'm going to pass on that eight ball. Actually, a rad roach right there. Turn this off. Take that bourbon. It's a good sell. Boxing glove is good to scrap for the leather. Also, these weights are extremely heavy, but they are a good source of lead. I'm going to go ahead and pass on them right now. Let's go ahead and get our rad roach meat so that we can cook that. But, yeah, this is always a good source of lead here. Why do you need a bunch of lead? Because you can craft, use it to craft bullets. But why would you need to craft bullets when ammo is so plentiful these days? Good question. Now we can go upstairs. Oh, again, I'm going to kind of skip through a lot of the lore, but I will point out here is a holotape of gym session notes from a traveling coffin salesman. So if you want to go back and read, listen to that. It's a Kim box. Well, we did pick up some bobby pins, so let's see how we can... Oh, just a little more. There we go. Get some goodies from there, along with some more XP. Now this guy is usually somebody you can talk to. He's usually banging away with a hammer out here. I don't know why he's just laying around at the moment. This blue paint is good for lead. Doesn't weigh a whole lot. There are some goodies in here, usually. More bobby pins. It's always helpful. I'm going to leave all of those. We don't generally need much more ceramics. Oh! I always want the alarm clocks for nuclear material. Apparently all these alarm clocks are nuclear powered. Just a regular hairbrush, we'll pass on that. Get some rat away, that's good. Soap is good because when you break it down, you get oil. And here's a plunger, wood and rubber. And that's pretty much all there is here to the hotel. 
There are some items out in the pool, although there's also a lot of rads associated with that. So I would not recommend it. Especially early game. Take that pack of cigarettes to sell. Don't need a bottle. Glass is also very easy, so I don't recommend picking up much glass. As you can see, he is out there with a cherry Nuka Cola, but again, we're going to pass. There's some more Nuka Colas. Nothing there. And we'll check this. Get some iguana bits. And you see another some berry mintats. That's great. Okay. So that's pretty much it. We're going to come back for all of this here later. For now, we're going to go ahead and sprint down to the church. Because that's where the overseer's stash box is, as well as a vendor. You're also going to find that Flatwoods is home to all of the various crafting stations you may need. Let's see. We'll take that. I don't think we really need any more 10 mil ammo. We've got plenty of 10 mil ammo. Gold flip top lighter is good. And here's the overseer's log. Let's play that. Overseer's log. While we get all the rest of this stuff. My God. There's no one here. The old tavern, the church. People were using them for shelter, but they're gone. Mutations we expected. But there's something else. A disease. I was attacked by... Well, it used to be a person. But it had these green, glowing lesions, and its voice... Angry. Tortured. We are one. One what? Whatever happened here is beyond anything we expected. And we expected a lot. Before they were wiped out... The survivors called themselves the Responders. Looks like they were made of firefighters, police, emergency medical staff. They even have an automated system to teach people about treating water, food, survival. I'm doing their tests, and you should too. I know it's even worse than we imagined, but... Someone's got to know where the missile silos are, and how to secure them. The responders are the best lead we have. This is the Overseer, signing off. And we'll talk to those two later, but while we're here, we have this bot vendor. And we have a chem station where we can scrap. So let's scrap all our junk, lighten the load, let's see if we get some mods here. Nope, that was unfortunate. So let's go ahead and, oh, could do a little With selling. Smart and a little luck, you'll do just fine out there. I'm going to go ahead and sell these explosives. Sure is great to see living human beings again. All right, I'm going to keep this whiskey. I like the whiskey at the bottom. That way I can always know it's at the very bottom. I'm going to go ahead and sell this blood While pack. You're here 
Why not grab a stim This healing pack salve, we don't need that because we've got stim packs. Radix diluted, don't necessarily need. That's a ton of Rataway. I'm going to sell most of it because we will find it. It's pretty easy to find. That overseer lady said more people would be coming. It's nice to meet you. I'm going to keep the gold and silver, although you can sell it. Not all of these are not all of your junk is sellable, but those are some. Read the water safety report. Water is unsafe for drinking unless thoroughly boiled. Let turn that off. We'll come back and read this responders database in a minute, but let's follow our prompt. Dirty water to cook and go ahead and register as a responder. And now it wants us to locate Kesha McDermott. We'll go to the people directory. And we'll look for her. And then that will give us the prompt to search for her by the nearby river. Completes the first contact. And let's see what goodies we get here. So let's go down by the river. Come on. Follow our little waypoint. We're not going to do that event. It occurs over there at the farm. Go ahead and turn that event off. All right, let's keep with our job. Dasa has asked us all to document our stories for posterity, you know. It seems like a fine idea. So, hi, I am Kesha McDermott. So now they're asking us to the bombs fell, test a sample of water from the water pumps. Coordinating a statewide science fair for that year's high school kids. And the theme was the future of energy. After the bombs, everything was pretty chaotic. Scavenging for food and fighting off rabid survivors. Oh, it was just a bad time all around. I found a couple of surviving kids from the high school whose parents didn't make it. And we holed up in a house in town for a while. After a bit, I was able to solder the circuitry in an old radio and we tuned in to a broadcast from the responders. Oh, we were overjoyed. Trip from Watoka to Flatwoods. It was rough, mind you. The kids and I ran into a group of assholes in the mountains who stole our food and water. I can't tell you how happy I was to find the responders in Flatwoods. Tents for everyone, open kitchens, medical supplies, protection. <laughs> We were safe. They had a problem, though. Their water sources were contaminated heavily. People were boiling water, but not long enough to make it safe. So, 
I stepped up and I said, I'll build a testing kit to monitor the contamination and I will teach folks how to properly boil water. <laughs> and I did. The world mm -hmm. is getting better, but slowly. We need to make sure it doesn't relapse, too. It's going to take time and care, that's all. All right, and we well, found a uh, hurt corpse. Time, care, and science. So we know what became of Kesha. She was dead there by the river. Let's go ahead and follow their prompts. Analyze the water. So there we go. Now they want us to boil some water. Easy enough. We'll come back and thoroughly loot all of this Chloe stuff later. She's the best guardian a girl could have. So we run down here. And boil us up some water. And go back to self-serve kiosk. You can use either one of them. Now he wants us to look for Delbert Winners. And go to his house. See what goodies we get for completing that quest. Another plan for a chemistry workbench. That'll come in handy. And another level up, which is fantastic. So this time, yay, we're level five. So it lets us know. Um, I'm going to put an extra point into agility. However, I'm going to get a charisma card. Oh, because we want the Lone Wanderer. Oh, darn it. <clears throat> I meant to put that extra point in Charisma to use that Lone Wanderer card. Well, we'll level up soon enough, and we'll do that. So don't repeat my mistake. Go ahead and put that point, extra point into Charisma, and then use the Lone Wanderer card. So we'll go in here. This is Delbert's home, trailer home. Here's a source of brain fungus. Again, one of my favorite soups, brain fungus soup, because it gives you um, extra XP. As a matter of fact, I'm going to run down here and boil one up real quick and drink it for the extra XP. are brain fungus soup. There it is. Yes. For plus two intelligence. That's what it gives us. All right. Which in turn gives us 
better XP. So let's run back here to Delbert's trailer house. Come on. We'll come back and loot in a second. But we find him on the floor with a holotape and his survivor story. Reverend Delbert Winters here, born and raised in this very town. Lent my own church to the responders for their outpost here, and uh, you're welcome. The responders are on a true mission, you see, helping folks through thick and thin until cool. the heavens open up again and take us all up anyways. Go ahead and loot when while he talks. Happened, I figured like most, it was time. This was the end, but, but it wasn't, was it? We're still here. At first, I thought it was a mistake, that we was missed, forgotten. Maybe we did some wrong. Oh, Didn't give enough I wanted the spoon. Maybe. Just Didn't the wood. His name, even in the worst of times. Maybe thought some things that ought not to have been thought. So I asked him. I asked how. Why? I fought your wars on Earth. I'm ready to fight them up there by your side. I'll take that for the silver. And in my despair, I saw some survivors eating raw rat carcass behind the dumpster. You ought to cook that first, I warned them. Seemed obvious. We tried but got sick, they said, covered in their own filth. I realized right then and there that I was being tasked. Then on, I built kitchens, cooked good food, fed anyone who walked up with an empty belly. And I was thankful for my task in life. Thankful. <laughs> Next time hell or high water land in my stoop, I'll be swept clear away with it. But until then, let's share a home-cooked meal together, all right? All right. Thanks, Delbert. So we'll, uh... Get some meat from one of the local cows. Toss it on the fire till it stops oozing. So our next task is to cook a... Looks like somebody is completing the, uh, the event over across the river from us. Here's cookbook. Potluck schedule. Ribeye steak. And Delbert's diary. I'll let you read all of this stuff. See, we got credit for completing that event, even though we weren't even there. So there's this dead cow over here where we can get some meat. And now all we need to do is cook it. Cook our ribeye steak. Might as well also cook some of this other stuff up. Some free XP here. good I don't yeah we're gonna leave these juices the bonuses aren't worth the rads and time to check back in we'll talk to her in a second 
and complete our training. And we can see all of the other responders here. And then that's all the list there. We can go ahead and talk to her while we're here. Chloe's my pet. Or maybe I'm hers. I'm not sure. Are you here for the responder training? Matter of fact, I then am. you're not alone. A lot of people come here because of that radio message the responders left. That's what brought me here, too. At first, I was planning to just do the training and move on, but honestly, I kind of like it here. I really enjoy meeting all the people that pass through and hearing their stories. Wait a minute. Are you one of those people who was in Vault 76? Yep. Still wearing the un my vault suit. Sure am. I knew it! I could tell just by looking at you. I've always thought that life in a vault must be so amazing. With the robots and all the machines and having everything you need every day. Best of all, you're safe. Which, let me tell you, is a thing us outsiders very rarely get to feel. Though I guess you're one of us now, so that's all in the past for you. See you later. Okay. See ya. We've got quest markers to follow. Oh, by the way, there's usually some goodies here. So we'll go ahead and take those, leave those throwing lights, a boxing glove, take that for the leather. That rack is good for the wood, or I think some of them are plastic racks, some of them are wood racks. You can try your luck here. It is possible to get that slice of pie, but it's also highly unlikely. Let's go ahead and follow our quest marker to do this. We can log in now that we are a volunteer. And the next place they're going to want us to do is go to Morgantown Airport. Now, if you are, if you did the level 20 quick start, I would recommend going ahead and following that quest to head towards Morgantown Airport because you will pick up your first suit of Raider armor. But that's not going to do us much good as we're doing the Fresh Dweller. Take that. So, at this point, it's time to start looting and investigating. Welcome, friend. If you're here to sign up, you've come to the right place. And again, we can go ahead and... Oh, I'm going to grab this clipboard. Woods and Springs. Good stuff. Go ahead and scrap real quick. Scrap all our junk. Let's scrap the tin mill we found. And we can sell that. But while we're here, 
show you the area. You can follow this way and go upstairs up into the steeple of the church. And some more looting. Here we find another responder corpse with some good stuff. These microscopes, excellent. Don't really need any of that stuff, but we do want the fan. I'll leave the cue ball. Do a little more. Go ahead and scrap all that junk. Oh, nothing in the duffel bag. Kind of feel like we got ripped off there. It's a surgical tray. Now underneath here, these pastor's vestments, it's actually one of the better selling articles of clothing. You get only this the ski outfit will give you quite a bit of caps too. So we're gonna follow here. Oh, hey, darn it. I missed that. Boy, we almost got a bit of a scare. Come on. It must be glitched. Not gonna give us the meat, that's okay. I'll take all of that. And up here in the steeple. Come on. Yeah, do be careful not to fall from here. But up here, you find... Some goodies. Uh, hi. Dasa asked me if I would talk about um, how I got here. This is the young yeah, Colonel. So I, I said okay. My name, my name's Colonel, and I'm 13 years old. I, I just wanted to say I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everything. Um, the bombs and the messed up people and the cows with two heads. All of it. I was bad. Bad. Kind of I, sad I, that he I blames him. himself. I, I kicked Chip Wilkins in the shins until he cried. I pushed Rosie McCloy down the stairs. Um, I, I cut holes in the bottom of all the gym shorts and I put glue in the mashed potatoes in the cafeteria. I told Harold Newell to eat ten dead flies a day in order to grow muscles and uh, I put new. So we went and scrap all our junk. And, store. and um, and we got some. I'm sorry about everything. Scrap this. Get a mod out of that. As my dad said, if I wasn't this way, the bad things wouldn't happen. I haven't seen daddy since the bombs, and I guess he left because of that, too. It's okay. Go ahead and sell real quick some of the goodies that we picked up. I'm not old enough to be a volunteer, but Dasa said I can help collect food and water, so. I'm getting better, I promise. And so you can get six. Daddy, if you're listening, I, it sure is bright, juicy, I promise I won't be bad anymore. So I'm gonna go ahead and sell all this dog food. Okay. Okay. There we go. We're in pretty good shape. Sell this blood pack. As you can see they weigh quite a bit. Smart and a little luck. You'll do just fine out there. And we don't want diluted stim packs. We want the real deal. Full power. Let's see, we do have some new plans. Let's make sure we don't forget to learn those. Notes section, here we go. Make yourself at home. Oh, we will. Oh, take that clipboard. 
think that's about it for the church. And then their next stop is going to be down the street here. rocket gas station and there's usually several scorched hanging out here usually three usually one back one inside and one out front Let's see if we can kind of sneak up on these guys For... oops Really meant to go for the headshots. See, there's like I said, usually there's three. Be careful because there is one that kind of hangs out back here. Don't see them. But lots of good loot here. There he is. Oh, a bobby pin. Thank you very much. We'll thoroughly rip, loot the red rocket here. And here's our stash box. So so one good thing, every red rocket will have a stash box. Make sure I don't miss anything here. Let's go out front. Hey, a new, oh, a new Coca-Cola, fantastic. Oh, I almost missed that. There's stuff on that shelf right there. Duct tape, great for adhesive. Some cleaners for acid. Good deal. And around back, we have... Ooh, desk fan, fantastic. A tinker's workbench. So we can scrap everything that we find. On, give us some strandy fuel. And some glowing fungus for some more soups. Scrap all our junk. Let's go ahead and store all our junk. All right, back down to under a hundred. And we'll pretty much call it quits here. Thanks for following along find this enjoyable, educational, please consider giving this video a like.